Hold on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Is it on? Yeah, why is it not working? Why is it not working? Let's see. Is it not working? What is it on now? There we go. All right. Admit all. Hello, 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 hello. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hello? It's not working. Fuck. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Val, are you talking right now? We can't hear you. Well, we did hear you, but then it stopped. Fuck. Can you? We heard it and then it popped and then now we can't hear again. Maybe a cord. It's going off. Can you hear me now? 
Yes. Talk again. Hear you. Now we can't. Now you're now you're muted again. We can't hear you. Uh, we, uh, we hear that. Okay, so it must be some short in the, which is like really annoying because it, there, can you hear that? And we can hear you right now. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and put these in the charger. Hi everyone, sorry. I'm I'm really hoping that this isn't the case tomorrow. I hope there's not short. I just have to go. Can you hear me? Yes. Hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yes. All right, I'm gonna leave this alone right now. I'm gonna put this over here and go over here like this. Uh, I hope it's not like something coming loose somewhere. Hmm. I think it's fine. Okay. All right. Here we go. Reclaim host. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, here's the other thing. I can't see you guys on that TV, but I should be able to see you. Oh no, because I'm not. Um, I'll be able to see you on that. Those... Now make sure to make me co-host again since you reclaimed host. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Hilarious. Me and technology, best friends, best friends. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we're, as you can see, I'm getting ready for rehearsal. We have rehearsal after this for tomorrow. And I have like all the microphones and everything. And some of you guys, I posted the picture of my studio. And so like tomorrow I'll be able to see everyone on the big TVs and such and such. So, uh, so that's the way it goes here. And then I can see everyone on the big TVs. Um, so that's what we're up to up here. Everything's set up and we're ready to go for tomorrow. Yay. Okay. First, first, first. I have some bad news. If you cannot come, we cannot tape the, the panel. Um, they have, uh, so if you are expecting to see the panel on the recording, you will not be able to see the panel on the recording. We will send out the panel of the teaching and everything else, uh, but uh, Amanda is, because Amanda is stepping into, if you guys don't know this, She'll tell us, but Amanda is like really, like really stepped up at, at Sony. And so, so like all of these places, you know, have like legal and all that. And they, they're like, okay, you can't record it. So we can't record tomorrow. Uh, we can't record the panel. We'll record everything else. But if you aren't able to come and you're expecting to see the panel on the recording, I apologize. Uh, it's just one of those things. I don't really want to get sued. Okay. So that's it. Um, okay. So a lot of you already sent out your, your things and got responses. Yay. Um, so congratulations, Chloe already got a response. 
Uh, Emma sent hers out. Anna sent hers out. Who else sent theirs out? Raise your hand if you sent it out. Or raise your virtual hand if you sent it out. Raise them, raise them, raise them, raise them, raise them. Awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, how exciting. And some people got responses. Um, I asked Maria Jose, uh, I for you guys that are clients, I wanted you guys to see Maria Jose's pitch in the client page. It's there. I asked her to put it in the I Love Actors, but that's the pitch that got her the Sony Diversity Showcase. Um, Tosh, I asked Tosh to share his stuff in the Facebook page, the uh, I Love Actors, because he's gotten a lot of response from that stuff. Um, my, uh, my client that is Andy Warhol um, in the Andy Warhol show, he sent, um, he sent pitches out to um, email pitches out to seven giant managers last night. He already got four responses in meetings. Yay, yay, yay. So, um, yeah, so it's all good. And congratulations for you guys that are sending it out. And um, yeah. Bella, who did you say to look at uh, their pitch videos that were great? Tosh and who else? There was a girl you mentioned well, first. Maria Jose, but oh, Maria I, Jose. she put it, put it in, she's, it's in the actor's client page. I'm there. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Maria Jose, um, watch her pitch that she did for um, Sony. Great. And uh, she does a lot of pitches, you guys. Maria Jose is a big pitcher and she does very well with her pitches. And, um, you know, and uh, yeah, so there's a few people that are um, over the years have been really, really good at pitching and pitching all the time. Um, so um, and they're happy to share their pitches with you. But if you just search, if you are a client and you're in the Facebook page and you just uh, search pitch video, you're going to see like 500 pitch videos, y'all. Brian Coffey is really successful with his pitch videos. He gets auditions all the time. Uh, Anna Maria, first, you know, for she got a big meeting by pitching herself to uh, Julie Ashton, as you heard yesterday. So um, they are working. Did anyone get a bad response? Yay! <laughs> I had one bounce back, but I had two email addresses. So one bounced back, but the other one didn't. So it's gone through. No response uh, yet, though. But. Let's see. What's my favorite bad response? Uh, my favorite bad response was this. It was one of the casting directors from In the Line of Duty for you Brits. And he wrote a four paragraph email about how he didn't have time to look at every actor that pitched him. I, you guys, it was like, did he, like, usually Brits have really good sense of humors and they get irony better than Americans. But this kid, this kid, or guy, whatever he was, completely missed all irony that he had written a four page email back to her telling him that he didn't have, telling her that he didn't have time to look at her pitch video because he was so busy. <laughs> oh, and I forgot, this is the best part. At the very end, he goes, and if there's a part that's right for you in the next line of duty, we'll bring you in. <laughs> that was my favorite bad response ever. Um, you know, when you do, when you, I always say this to clients, you guys, if you are not ruffling feathers, you're not doing enough. Uh, you're always, when you're, if you're ruffling feathers, that means that you are doing enough. Like, that, you know, occasionally you're going to ruffle someone's feathers because people don't like people that get out of line. People don't like people that are um, breaking the rules that don't exist. Okay. So just 
you know, understand that that happens. It's always really awful when it happens to you for the first time and you think, oh my God, right? And then you get responses like, ah, whatever, like from me or Scott, because, you know, it's like, you know, if I look back over my 35 years of my acting career, you know, I've been told everything. You're fat and you, you don't have any resume. I was told that once. <laughs> or your training was terrible. You'll never work as an actress. Uh, or that was the worst audition I ever saw. <laughs> you had that? Somebody said that to you? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, but like, listen to this. In one week's time, once I was told, I learned a very valuable lesson this, and this was very early in my career. I was told, you're the best actress to come to New York City this year. Two, your, your training is terrible and you're an awful actress. In like a five day span, I was told that two, those two different things. And that's when I really realized that it's all an opinion. And, you know, you, all you can do is really put your best foot forward. And sometimes, and people's opinions are based on so much not about you, right? There, it's so much not about you. So just remember that, like, it's really like not about you most of the time. Okay. All right. All right. So um, the assignment for, uh, if you choose to accept it, I feel like I'm on Mission Impossible. Um, and I mean, you know, I just want to repeat what I said yesterday. Um, you know, I'm very proud of you guys. I'm very proud of your participation what you guys accomplished during the, uh, the challenge. Even if you didn't send your video, but you broke past a barrier. You know, I know like Celinda, you're one of those people. I know that um, there's several of you on here that really feel like, oh my God, I just broke back, broke, pa Paul, you know, is breaking past the barrier. Lorena is breaking past the barrier. A lot of you are breaking past barriers that you've never even gone near. And I just want to say congratulations to you as much as the person that sent it out and got a response. I mean, because when you're building your business, like, here's the thing, you guys. I built a system when it comes to Actors Fast Track. We have a five-step system because you as an actor, if you hire someone like us, you need to be given actionable steps, right? Like the first thing I always want to know is like, I always want to know what's your dream, right? Absolutely. But then I want to be able to give you boundaries and rules and systems. I don't want to say rules. There, no, systems and boundaries and operating procedures to run your business by. Right. And so I built a five step system based on my 35 year acting career. And I always tell my coaches, meet the client where they are. So that's why we have a client that's a series regular on Netflix right now, all the way down to a beginning actor who's fresh out of acting school, like Anna was when she first hired us last summer. Right. Like she was right out of Stella Adler and really smart. Like, I wish I would have had me right out of acting school as well. And so she's already making strides because she started taking steps and building her business. But going to acting school and deciding you want to be an actor and building your business are two separate things, right? And so there is a system for doing this and there is actionable steps. So as you can see, the last two weeks, the first week, we really were talking about this, the mindset. And then this week we were taking actionable steps, right? But, you know, so I just want you to know that no matter where you are in starting your business, whether you're just figuring out like, oh, I see what being in business of an actor is, or whether you are someone that's already been in business doing drop-offs, doing pitch videos, getting auditions, uh, booking things, whether you're that person or you're the other person, 
whatever that that every one of you that participated is somewhere different than you were two weeks ago. And that's really noticeable to me. So I I really want you to see that, that by just taking a few actions, look how far you can get, right? It's pretty amazing. And you're all to be uh, congratulated for that because there was, you guys all like were, you know, in this to win it, which was really, really exciting. And, and I'm tired. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. I'm going to get some rest tonight before the big day tomorrow. And, um, but I'm, I'm exhausted because like I told you yesterday, cathartically, I go through this stuff with you. When I ask you to make a th cathartic change, I go through it with you. And so for me, that's true. And then also we are starting the day tomorrow with a very emotional exercise. It's a, a meditation, which I listened to this morning. And every time I listen to it, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't wear false eyelashes tomorrow because right off the bat, I'm going to have crap on my face, but you guys don't care. But, um, but I just, I listened to it this morning because I needed that. I haven't been really good with my meditation this week because my husband started a new job and it's just like this craziness in the morning, trying to get him out the door. And then on top of it in New Jersey, a giant tower fell on our local train station and it put all the trains out of commission by our house that go to New York city. So it's been like this crazy, crazy thing. So I haven't had a lot of meditation and usually, you know, I'm really good about meditation, daily meditation. Um, and especially leading up to an event, you know, and so this week it's that, and I'm just tired, you know, it's been a long week and Last week, I, I was acting all week. So it's good. It's all good. All right. So your assignment today is to make a bold declaration of the daily action you are going to take to achieve your big dream. Make a video about it and post it in the group. You're going to make a bold declaration of the daily action you are going to take to achieve your big dream make a video about it and post it in the group. That's the assignment if you choose to take it. Mission Impossible. That's just from Mission Impossible, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you young kids. And this tape will self explode in a few minutes. Am I still, everyone can hear me? Okay, awesome. Questions. I have Let's several, Chris. Uh, no. Well, of course you do, Christopher Pan. What is going on? Yes, um, th thank you again for watching the rework of the self tape, which it's was way better. Yes, certainly. Yeah, I hope everyone saw the changes Chris made because it's really awesome. He let it go. He he. It was awesome. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, they never saw the other one. <laughs> that sort, so they they won't be able to. Stop. Um, yeah, it's now going to 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 one minute fifteen seconds. It was yeah. just. Uh, does that matter? No, I I no. You keep my interest. Okay. The next question is: One of the producers. Do you remember last week that yeah. I found the five producers on the on the movie, and um, I started. I'm going after them. I, I managed to, to find one on Instagram. When I woke up this morning, he he um, followed me. Okay. He, liked, he started liking some of my stuff on there. The video that I did for the music video, Mick Jagger, and the, when you was um, <laughs> the photo of me and you at uh, Actors Expo. I wonder if he knows you. And like where you was the queen and I was the king of the castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, good. So I've decided to make a video pitch for him. I actually did it in my dance class today. I showed it Perfect. to Scott. He likes it. Oh, um, good. Yeah. So I'm going to send it. I'm going to, oh yeah. Shall I send it to him on Instagram? Yeah. Why not? I, the video is about me arranging a Zoom 
meeting with him. You know, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, it's similar to the one that you saw, but I've changed it. Instead of an audition, a meeting, a Zoom. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, good. And then the other question is, shall I, no, this was a suggestion by Scott. He said, um, to, God bless Scott, really God bless Scott. <laughs> yeah, definitely, and yourself. <laughs> nah. Ah, and um, he said, maybe don't do, don't ask for an audition with Ridley, arrange a meeting, or it's just a thought. All right. Um, I'm, 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 whatever. I think if you want to do it, you should do it. If you don't, you don't. I mean, I'm not like married to that. Okay. And one final question. Thank you. Yeah. You know, when, when I'm going to submit the, the pitch to, to Ridley, whether yeah. he it or not, it's another thing. He's had one, two, actually. No, one self-tape and one trailer. And um, shall I put exactly as always, put what's on the video pitch in the body of the email? Um, you know, like he already is aware of you. <laughs> Who knows? It's well, no, he, you've brought him vodka. You've been going to his office for no, three it's... years. I mean, I, I think he's already aware of you, Chris. I, I would say, make him watch the video. Don't always put it in the body of the email. What, what can I put in the subject box this time? Because the last time that I put trailer, Christopher Pan trailer, Alexander the Great. So it was opened whether they saw it. I oh, think, yeah. I, uh, Ridley, it's a, a, a message from Chris Pan, your favorite vodka guy or something like that. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, okay. Yeah, and also, you know, I'm sending it via a video, um, a YouTube link. So, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, that's the only way I can do it unless I'm in the USA where, you know, you got technology far better than we have here, actually. Where are you, like, in, in 1875 or something? I mean, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's technology there. It's Dickens. Dickens. We're still in Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, then. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Violetta. Violetta. Hello. Hello. So um, I sent down my pitch video on mm -hmm. Wednesday and um, nine, uh, six of the nine people opened it and one of the people clicked the link twice. And I'm just wondering how soon would it be to um, send a follow-up email because um, it's um, Derek Frey was the one who clicked the link and I was wanted to like send my Wednesday video to him like today, but it's only been two days. Is there like such a thing as like sending a reply too soon? Um, it's a great question and thank you for asking this. Okay, so yes is the answer to that question. I, I feel like you want to not be too, you want to act as busy as they are. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would wait a week. Hi, Carol London. Good to see you. Yay, Carol London. Um, I would wait a week, Violetta. Mm -hmm. I would wait a week and say, um, hey, I, wa I wanted to send you this. I would probably not do it. I, you know, it's so interesting because I had this conversation yesterday with um, one of my clients who's really working a lot. And we had this conversation about, you know, having that rhythm, that inherent rhythm of like when to respond. And sometimes we, we get it wrong, right? Like sometimes we get it wrong and um, we, um, I think you should wait till Wednesday. I think you should do it every 
once a week with him. Well, mm -hmm. especially initially, I think you should wait a week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, my, I don't know why I think that, but I feel like, you know, it's like right when you really go out of his brain, then you're sending him something. Mm -hmm. You I know what I'm saying? Like, so if I first uh, message somebody, I should message them only once a week. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if they don't open it two or three days later, you should forward the same email and say, not sure you saw this. Give them three days to open something and then forward them the same email and say, not sure you open this. But if they open it, you know, you know, I'm not talking about casting directors. I just want to be really clear. I'm talking about producers and directors and writers right now. Mm -hmm. So producers, directors, and writers, you don't need to be on them as casting directors. You know, if they're casting something you're right for and you sent them something and they opened it and they watched it. I would say two days later, I would respond if it was a casting director. But mm -hmm. if it's a producer, Right. Um, and is he, is there something in production that he's producing that you really want to get an audition for right now? Well, I sent him, um, well, I don't know if he's working on it, but he's um, connected to Tim Burton. Yeah. And can, well, Wednesday and Beetlejuice, like I want those. Right. Is Beetlejuice an active casting right it now? Doesn't, or no? It doesn't say. It says unknown on the Wikipedia page. I'm not going to IMDb. I'm on IMDb. On IMDb, have you, has anyone seen it on Production Weekly? Uh, I yes. It, oh, it they just did. Came up on Production Weekly. Uh, oh, it this did. Last week, like literally this past week, once when, when they announced um, uh, uh Brad Pitt's company is going to be doing it. That's when it popped up. Oh, it did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so I would, I still think you're fine because they're just announcing production, which means remember this casting always happens last. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think you're fine. So I would wait till next week. Just do okay, it on okay. Wednesday. Okay. And did you um, get any new addresses on Production Weekly? Yes, I did. Good. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, Production Weekly can be a very, very, very good tool. A lot of our clients share, uh, and it applies to the UK as well for you guys. It apply. It's a global thing. A lot of our clients share. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of our clients go in. So Cindy, if you want to go into the client page and you, and you want to ask them who, who is anyone want to get in on production weekly, I'm sure there will be someone that does, right? Or more than one people. There's several groups going on at Actors Fast Track of people sharing production weekly. Um, and it does have listings for the UK as well, y'all. So it's, it's pretty global. So right, right, Violetta, you see everything on there. Yes, I'll like buy, I'll just, I'll use it once in a while because it's like $75 a month. But if there's something I really want, I would just spend that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you're sharing that with a, a three or four people, then it's not so bad, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, um, you know, work that out amongst yourselves. But, you know, I mean, back in the day, we used to steal the breakdowns, right? And um, so, uh, you know, now you can't do that. You know what's like so funny, you guys? Oh my God. So there was this girl, some of you guys might've heard of her. She did this company called Career Activate. And, um, and she, her thing was, the only way she knew how to pursue acting was to tell people to steal the breakdown. So when when you couldn't steal the breakdowns anymore. She didn't really. Well, in the meantime, her own career took off and, uh, and her career is like banging right now. She's on, um, she was on high town, although she got killed off high town, but anyway. Um, so I just noticed that, but she's to, she's to stand on stage and tell people a number they could call to steal the breakdowns. I'm like, Oh my God, girl, 
And I think he might have sued her because he's crazy, the owner of breakdowns. He's crazy. So now we have production. That what happened? It was her. Oh, God. Yeah, it probably was her. No, he started suing people. Gary started suing people. He, I met five actors he sued for $16,000 each, and he won every case. Right. And these were actors that weren't even stealing it. These were actors that were buying it from someone else that was stealing it. So there you go. Um, so, an, yeah, go another ahead. Another question. So oh, I, my God. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I struggle on whether I should ask the people who I want to work with for an audition or for a meeting. Because, like, I want to audition for them. But, like, shouldn't I just, I don't know. Well, I mean, I think that you have to weigh in what they're doing. I mean, like I told you guys that I'm going to do a pitch video next week for Nicole Arbusto. I'm going to ask her for an audition for somebody somewhere. It takes place in Kansas. I'm from Kansas. And I just watched the fifth episode and it was like they played Dust in the Wind, which if you don't know, that's a Kansas song, the band Kansas. And so I was like crying. I'm watching it. I'm going to do a pitch video for Nicole Arbusto. So of course I'm going to ask her for an audition because that's what she does. She casts that show. I'm not going to say, can I have a meeting? I don't want to have a meeting with the casting director, mm -hmm. she, but I'm different than you. You know, she'll go look me up and she'll know, or she, if she doesn't already know me, she'll know that I'm a working actress. And so, but I mean, I think like with sometimes directors and producers, it's okay to ask for a meeting, but if what you really want is an audition, ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't beat around the bush. I'd ask for what I want. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired and sing-songy today. Okay. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. <laughs> Sunday. That's okay. I just want to, uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for this whole challenge. It's been eye-opening. I've never done video pitches, as you know. Um, just the fact that I'm even asking a question on Zoom is a big deal because I usually hide in the shadows and don't ask questions. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I send a video pitch to Andy Walk just to ask him for coffee. I mean, it was just for coffee. And he's a, I guess, sort of friend acquaintance of mine and I didn't hear anything it's so weird but um I was just thinking um should I should I just write an email if I haven't heard from him in a week usually oh when no 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 if you haven't heard from him um by Monday forward him the same email and say not sure you saw this okay 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 um, look a lot then, of people don't see their emails y'all period. Like how much does your email box fill up? And if it goes past the first page, you forget about it or you don't see it or you missed it. Right. And I just, that just happened to me. I have to do this ADR down at USC today and I completely didn't see the information on how to get there and what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, the other question I wanted to ask is when you, um, suggested we watch Amy Schumacher's um, video. I think it was the one that I watched, which was amazing. I have a question between just a general pitch versus that you're actually speaking to someone. Because I think the one that I saw with Amy was, was it, I don't know, Amy, it might not have been general. You might have been speaking specifically to someone and I just didn't hear the name. So what's the difference? Should we be trying to work on just a general okay. so that um, we can get branding and stuff since I'm new at this and new at branding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, Sarah, um, since Cindy's a client, can you send her the actor or have Scott send her the actor pitch course? If you heard me, let me know. Yes, she said yes. So Thank we're you. gonna, I'm gonna send you the actor pitch course from Actors Biz School. 
And I want you to watch that course. And it talks about there's two types of pitches to customers. There's general pitches and there is specific pitches. And so I, so I, so, um, so there are both, right? Je like when you're making a general pitch, you can be more about the person you're talking about, but I mean, a specific pitch, but when you're doing a general one, like Evans has done general ones and he just sends it out to all of his list. Amy did a general one where she sent it out to all of her lists, I believe. So it's just more talking about what you bring to the table. And if you're sending it like Amy does action and like, you know, if you're doing, if you're doing like specifically like Amy's selling this girl that can kick ass in action, so she's going to send it to like all the Marvel casting directors, all the action movie casting directors. And so she doesn't have to say their name because she can send the same one. I'm a firm believer that if you, um, if it's better to go specific in general, it's better to go specific when you're selling yourself because Years ago, I was working with a young filmmaker and he came to me after he had written 150 general letters um, asking for people to come see his final thesis at the film school I worked at. And he didn't get one answer. I sat down with him and we wrote 10 specific letters to big ass directors. I'm talking like big directors, you guys. And out of 10 letters, he got seven responses. Wow. So, so, so it just really showed me that when you're specific sales, you tend to get better responses, like way better responses. So when, so when you do a, 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 a video for someone specifically, like, like, you know, I always demonstrate, like if I did Chloe Zhao, you know, like, you know, Chloe, Nomad Land moved me so profoundly last year. I saw it two two times, and just you know that line in the movie where the girl talks about uh, the woman talks about you know when she saw certain things when she was traveling in America, she yep. realized after she saw those things that she would be able to die because she'd seen what she needed to see, and like you yep. know saying that. It's like you're talking to her, you're talking about her art and how it profoundly affected you. She's going to pay attention to that, yeah, right? Yeah. Whereas you go, hi, I'm Cindy and I'm blah, blah, blah brand. And I da, 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 da. It's like, uh, you know, it feels like it doesn't really matter if I watch it or anyone watches it. That's so it, I think it's always better to do specific, but people don't always like to do a lot of specifics. If you're doing, if you're reaching out on a regular basis, sometimes you have a month where doing a specific to everyone is like a pain in the ass because you have to reset up your camera. You have to set the video. You have to do the pitch. It's a lot of work, but just like anything else, you get used to it. Yeah. And I think that the thing is that <clears throat> the thing that I'm working on, it is my brand. So I think it would, it's helpful to me to begin with, to just sort of make a general one so that I'm not so focused on just the one person. So I can work a little bit more on what I have to offer and what I'm putting out there. Yeah. Yeah. Sense. Yeah. And you and I like, wait, we just started. So, you know, we we're going to, we're going to talk more as we go in your program. Right. Okay. And, yeah. and yeah. you'll get it. So don't get, this isn't a lot of new territory for you. So don't worry. It's we'll get so it. So new. It just makes me. You're good. Emotional. You're good. All right. Oh, look, Josh is already here. He's in the waiting room. He's like, Josh is here early for rehearsal. We do have rehearsal today, you guys. So uh, just so you know, I'm going to have to leave in about uh, a few minutes, but let me talk, Shafin, let me talk to you. What's Hello. the question? Hello. Yeah. Um, two things quickly. Um, you mentioned, co coincidentally, I did meet Amanda in LA in 2019. I was in a networking thing and we went, a small group of us went for dinner afterwards as well. So that was nice. 
But you mentioned that it won't be recorded, the panel section. So I was just wondering, because since I'm in Hong Kong, um, what time that would be? And so like, I'm trying to think of the schedule, like how far into the night for me that would be. Oh, you mean when Amanda's going to be there? It's going to be- uh, Or when the, the panel, the part that it can't be recorded panel, will be in which part can be- The panel will be two hours in. Okay, so after. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And secondly, I just wanted to share kind of a story because um, I'm trying to find an email or more direct contact for a seven bucks production. Um, I was going to say, because I only have an Instagram, but after Chris's story, I'm like, maybe that's <laughs> enough. Um, so I reached out to a friend who is actually working on some of their productions and Amazon as well. And she was like, oh, you know, that's not really how you do it. Don't go. So this is just like a something for everyone there will be those people that we meet who might challenge that so we just can't get thrown off by it so i was like okay no point continuing that kind of conversation but i did drop in like you know if we're passionate about something that is just when i if i can't find casting i trying to do a pitch to other people and i threw in the story of 2016 when i first thought to do this professionally i actually sent an email there was a movie being produced about about rumi like breaking muslim stereotypes Etc. So I reached out to Stephen Joel Smith, sorry, Stephen Joel Brown, um, who is a producer on Emily in Paris and did seven, etc. And I didn't uh, expect to reply, but got a reply like two days later. And he's like, we're still in script phase, but I'll keep you in mind and I'll let I'll pass your information on. So just, you know, that people, producers do reply. They're still in script phase, so that's not gone anywhere, but just wanted to share that kind of story with you guys. Uh, that's great. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good. Awesome. Good, good, good. Great. Well, we're happy to have you, and uh, yeah, it'll be about two hours in when the um, panel will be on. Okay. Thank okay. You. All right. Um, all right. Just uh, quickly, let's hear from the rest of you, and then I have to run. So, Maggie, what's going on? Um, thanks for watching my video that made me feel good, made it real brief. Thank you. I'm going to have Scott see it. And then after we meet at 3.15, uh, with his blessing, I'll send it off to Eric Dawson. So thanks for all that coaching. Um, yesterday I had an hour long meeting with Danny Robinson from Agency for the Performing Arts. Uh, I knew Danny back in the Star Search days, which yeah. was 384, and we reconnected over this last year. And um, I had asked him boldly <laughs> last time we met if he thinks he could get me in to meet with his li the literary agents at APA. Danny specializes in comedians and bands and that kind of thing. So uh, anyway, he said to me this yesterday that um, he didn't think that was going to work out for me at APA, but he has somebody else in mind. I don't know how to look this guy up, but he said, Carrie Kozloff, I'm not sure how he spells it. So uh, at any rate, he then he we talked for an hour. And at, the, at one point, he finally said, uh, do you ever get down this way? And I'm like, do you want to go for lunch? And he goes, yes. I said, what day works? And he goes, any day next week. So we settled on Tuesday. So I'm going to go see him Tuesday, which is oh, great. great. It's going to be very helpful. And then I was, you know, reaching out to the Irish consulate regarding seeing if there was any help there for filmmakers from LA to work with the Irish. I have a contact there, by the way, if you need. Yeah. I'm your Irish go-to, Maggie. So I have a contact, a new contact yeah. with the Irish. I Irish. love you so awesome. much. She's, she okay. gave me a lot of her time one day. It was hi, hi, hi. So I got so great. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. And then great. I just want to let you know that I, I wanted, here's my question. I know that I now get the production list and I saw that Steve Stark, who cast me on Star Search, these old things keep coming up, but there's, they're good, good ones. Um, he was the former head of development for MGM UA for television development. We've reconnected in the last year. I see he has a project now. He's left there. He's got his own production company. He's got a project. It's set during World War II. That's so my cup of tea. And um, so I want advice on what to say regarding keeping me in mind for his TV series. Uh, I've already asked my agent to keep an eye out for casting on that. What What's some advice there? Uh, well, just say it. <laughs> <laughs> just that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't need to be fan. Just like say, hey, how are you? I saw you're involved in this project. I'd love to be involved. And 
you know, I mean, it doesn't need to be fancy. Good. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Lorena. Yes. Hi, Valerie. Um, Hello. So I've been thinking also to do, I mean, to, to start like getting a bit more um, comfortable. And I wanted to reach also, you know, this actress that is also now a producer, like uh, Mayim Yali, that we can share many things to her because she's also a scientist, but I wasn't sure, you know, how to, what to put in the subject. Like, this is my pitch video or what should I put there? So what do you want from her? I mean, just like uh, to introduce myself more because I think she's, she's doing something uh, but it's the, a sitcom and nothing else. But just in case she will return in something more specific as the Big Bang Theory, that could be something interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, if she's, you got to know what you want when you're going for someone. And when you, you know, from one scientist to another is something that you could say in the subject line, right? But but like, if you know she's involved in a project, writing an actor frequently is not gonna help you because if they're not really producing, they're not involved in a project, it's like, they get this thing from you. It's like, well, what do you want? I mean, like, right, this is a business. So it's like, you know, if you show up to another business, you gotta know what you want, right? So. If you know she's involved in producing or doing a, uh, an event, then yeah, like, you know, um, then you should, you know, definitely do that. But like, you know, anyway, so yeah, yeah, um, I got it. yeah so from one scientist to another. Okay, you guys, I have all of my crew mm -hmm. showing up here. So I've got to say goodbye. Make sure that you uh, take the challenge to make a bold declaration of your daily action you're going to take to achieve your big dream. Thank you for joining me for this last uh, two weeks, and we will see you tomorrow at Accelerate Live. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Emma, I'll email you. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why it's